And for more on this, we are joined by Munir Akram, Pakistan's permanent representative to the United Nations. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, Prime Minister Imran Khan last year raised the Kashmir issue at the UN General Assembly, which echoed internationally. Khan again highlighted the dispute at the UN Forum. How much it will pressurize New Delhi? Uh, uh, I think that uh, it is uh, a major projection and emphasis on the Kashmir issue, which the Prime Minister has once again brought before the General Assembly. Uh, it is obvious that uh, uh, capitals around the world uh, will have to take, no take notice uh, of the points that have been put forward uh, by the Prime Minister, the human rights violations in Kashmir, uh, the uh, violations of ceasefire along the line of control targeting civilians, and the need to find a solution to this problem, which is a major issue between two, two nuclear armed states and therefore poses a threat to international peace and security. Uh, governments would be negligible if negligent if they did not pay attention to their prime minister's uh, assertions and uh, assumptions which he put forward uh, at the General Assembly. Mr. Akram, Prime Minister Imran Khan warned against any misadventure by India in Azad Kashmir through a false flag operation. What's your take on this? We've always um, warned the world uh, that you know, India in the, in the past has mounted several false flag operations, terrorist incidents, in order to frame Pakistan and, co and create a cause or justification for aggression against Pakistan. Uh, this goes back to even the 1970s. Now, this is the Indian modus vivendi of how they operate. And so it is important for us to warn the world that they could resort to this sort of false flag operation once again in order to find justification to aggress against Pakistan. Modi is under pressure internally COVID crisis, economic downturn, Kashmir, Ladakh, all of these are mounting pressure points domestically on Modi and, and therefore we are, we are concerned that they could resort to a diversionary move against Pakistan and, and we have to warn the world uh, against the aggressive um, posture and intentions of the Indian government. Mr. Akram, Prime Minister Imran Khan said Pakistan supports an Afghan-led peace process. How do you see Islamabad's efforts in the ongoing intra-Afghan talks and India's role as a peace spoiler? Um, I think we have, we have uh, fulfilled uh, our promises uh, and our uh, obligations to promote peace. Pakistan will be the biggest beneficiary of, uh, of peace, um, apart from the people of Afghanistan. Uh, we will be able to have the end of terrorism from Afghanistan. We will be able to return the refugees, and we will have the ability to connect with Central Asia through Afghanistan. Uh, and these are, these are major benefits that we could derive. So we will try and be helpful but finally, uh, ultimately, it is the responsibility of the leaders of Afghanistan and the people of Afghanistan to find reconciliation amongst themselves. And this is their responsibility. We will help them. We can't do it for them. Munir Akram, Pakistan's permanent representative to the United Nations. Thanks for talking to in this news.